Hey there, it's Amy from prettypurpledoor.com and today we're going to be making another wood slice ornament. This is a really fun and easy rustic project to decorate your tree. Today I'm going to be using pressed flowers and um, leaves and things from my garden. I have a whole bin here of stuff that I've pressed um, just to give it a try. Um, I, there's all different methods you can use. You can set them inside of a book. Um, I've heard that you can do it in the microwave. What I do is I just take um, this same paper that I use here, it's uh, just a, a craft paper, and I put it on either side of whatever I'm trying to press, and then I just put the iron flat on it, and I keep checking it and going back and forth, and eventually you'll get them to dry up. Um, so I'm just going to make a little ornament out of a couple that I've picked out. Um, these are from my garden. This is a, a heuchera leaf. Um, these look really cool when you press them. Uh, there's all different textures and, and really neat color in here. So this is a, they also call it coral bells, heuchera. And then here's a petal from a hydrangea. I think that's really pretty too. And this is just a little clipping from a pine tree. So I pressed this as well. It smelled really good when I was pressing it. And then I have my ornament. I just want to make sure I decide where I want to put my a little fastener to hang it. So I'm going to use that as my top here. And then I have my surface to work from. So the first thing I'd recommend is just sort of to take these and get an idea of how you want to place them. And this hydrangea is beautiful, but it almost matches the background here. So I don't really want it on the background. I think I want to put um, this huca relief down and then I want to put this on top of it so that it's got that pink uh, purpley plum color um, something like that I think so based on that I'm going to do the heuchera leaf first and I have my hot glue gun here so I'm just going to put a dab of hot glue and then I'm going to press this down and Just want to make sure I get it under the edges of this leaf so that it's it's as flat as I can possibly get it and it's not going to be perfect so don't worry too much about that just get it to lay flat for you and then next I'm going to cover up that dab there that I messed up you see and I'll make sure that I glue this guy on pretty good and put him like that Okay, and then last but not least, I'm going to use, oop, I kind of broke that piece, and here's another guy here, or I can just sort of take that piece off that I just broke, and just pull that off. They're so fragile, that's the only thing about this, is you really have to be careful when you're making it. Okay. So I'm just going to set it something like that so it's it's over top but not covering everything completely. And uh, I'm just get the glue and, and put dabs on the back here. And I think that's pretty good there. So the sky's the limit with this. Um, I think pressing flowers and plants is a really cool way to sort of save your garden for the year and then um, you know you can share it with other people and, and turn little pieces of this into you know you can put the date up here or the year so that you know uh, what year of your garden you sort of press these from and it's a, it makes a really uh, unique ornament and uh, also a great gift for other people so okay so because this is so fragile and these have a tendency to uh, sort of tear right off you even saw the hydrangea kind of fell apart in my hands so i do recommend sealing these i'm going to do my sealing with um, just mod podge i have i have the the matte finish because it doesn't get shiny or glossy so i feel like it really adds to the rustic look of it but there's all different kinds of mod podge you can use whatever um, whatever you have on hand or whatever effect you're going for and then I just have an old um, paintbrush and I'm just going to dip into the the glue here and I'm going to basically paint around and on top of these and to be really careful because 
Um, you don't want to break it while you're painting it. Um, that would suck. So just put a nice coat of the Mod Podge. This dries clear. I know it's scary to do, but I wanted to show you how I do it. Oh, see, I broke a piece off. So you have to be very careful when you're doing this. But I wanted to show you myself um, so you're not like freaked out when you go to seal it and it gets all white. It's going to it's gonna dry clear. It's not a big deal. Um, sometimes you will get some brush strokes in it, so I'd be a little bit careful when you're going around the wood to make sure that you're following the grain and you're not just going all over the place. But... It's good to seal your wood to keep it lasting a long time. I'd even recommend sealing um, the sides and the back of this as well once, uh, once this part's dry. So I'm just going really carefully around here because, again, these uh, leaves are really fragile when they're dried out and you don't want to tear them or anything. Uh, once this is dry, um, they're going to be a lot better. They're going to be a lot more secure on here. It's going to sort of glue them in here, stick them on even better. So and I'm just going to make sure I get like underneath as much as I can too. And while I'm waiting for this, I'm going to go around the sides of the wood just so that that's sealed and the bark doesn't start chipping off. So do the same thing, just get a coat around here. Try not to touch too much. But sealing these is always a good idea. You could also you just use a spray polyurethane, like a clear sealer in a can. That works pretty well. Um, I like the Mod Podge um, for this project specifically just because it's going to strengthen the dried flowers a bit for you. Okay. And then I'll be back when this is dry to show you what it looks like. Okay, so you can see here that this is completely dry from the Mod Podge I put on it. And um, it's clear, so there's no issues here. I did the sides too, I still have to do the back. I also did a couple more I want to show you, just to give you some ideas of how you can use this. Um, this one I used leaves from a Yonimus bush. And then these are seed pods from a hello yellow blackberry lily. It's also called a leopard lily, but the seed pods look like little blackberries. So I just glued those on and I used a little piece of hemp twine to make a flower out of flower pieces. And then here's another one I did. Um, this is a piece of ornamental cabbage and uh, just a couple other seed pods that I had in my garden. So. Yeah, here's a couple options, and um, I did them the exact same way as the this one that I showed you. And I sealed these as well, so they're completely sealed and clear now, you can see. They might need a little bit more time to dry before they clear completely, but they will. Okay, um, tons more videos about um, how to make different types of wood slice ornaments. So I'm going to put the playlist above, so you could check those out, and I'll see you in the next video.